his next finger. And he told me there is some complications with shooting. He's still trying to get a rhythm and a feel for how to shoot with that slint. But he also said there is, there is some concern that if somebody hits that finger, that could, it could be more problematic. But he said that's a risk he's willing to take. All right, good stuff, Chris. Thank you. So Fox back in the lineup, Coach. Mike Brown says he's not changing the rotation of the lineup, not play calling, nothing. He believes in Fox and how he can perform. Well, absolutely. And they narrowly missed an opportunity the other day to go up 3-1, but now they're back in front of this raucous home crowd, needing more from Kevin Herter and Damanis Sabonis. Meanwhile, the Golden State Warriors, they're going to stick with Jordan Poole. That means Draymond Green's coming off the bench. Well, Steve Kerr likes the small lining and the spacing that it provides thinks it makes them much harder to defend. All right, let's get this one going. It has been the most compelling first round series. They are on their feet here at Golden One Center in downtown Sacramento. The ball game, the Golden State Warriors showing that championship medal. They went on the road, the first team to win on the road in this series, and now they have a chance on their home floor to eliminate the three-seeded Kings. One day between games now, the rest of the way, they'll match up again on Friday. 82% is the number for the Game 5 winner. And the Warriors are going back to Chase Center. Warriors have won 14 of their last 15 home games, including the two in this series. Big road win, great contributions from many with the Warriors. He had four with 20 or more points, including Draymond Green, who had 21. So now it is the Warriors who can send the Kings home. Draymond Green will join us, but our studio will have that as we kick it back to Ernie Johnson in our Atlanta studio. Stand by for Draymond Green.